Nepal, located in the South Asian region in the world map, is a naturally beautiful country. Nepal boasts eight snow-capped peaks that are above 8,000 meters tall. It is also famous as a country of mountains. The world's tallest peak, Mount Everest, is in Nepal. Thousands of summiters from across the world come to Nepal every year. Mount Everest is the world's highest peak, which is 8,848 meters high from the sea level. This top of the world is situated in the northern mountain range of Nepal. It was first successfully conquered by Tenzing Norge Sherpa and Sir Edmund Hillary on 29th May 1953. Since then, more than 3,000 mountaineers from around the world have climbed the top. Apa Sherpa has made the highest record on the summit by climbing Mount Everest 21 times. Departed from hotel in the early morning to catch a flight to Lukla for Everest base camp trekking and to Summit Island Peak. Small twin otter aircrafts are ready to fly to Lukla. The exotic flight of approximately 35 minutes from Kathmandu brings us to Lukla. The scene of flight landing and taking off at Lukla airport is extremely exciting. Every day, hundreds of trekkers and mountaineers arrive to Lukla to begin and return to Kathmandu by ending their trip. Lukla is very famous as a gateway of Mount Everest. Therefore, this point marks the beginning of our quest to Everest Base Camp and Island Peak Climbing. <laughs> After Lukla, no other mode of transportation is available except walking across the hills. Trekkers and mountaineers walk in the narrow mountain trail like a serpentine queue. On the way, trekkers enjoy the natural beauty of Tauri Kharga, exotic mountain views, waterfalls, villages of the Sherpa community having tea shops and Buddhist monasteries. Four hours walking down from Lukla, we get to Fagding, where you are going to stay overnight in a guest house. Proceeding from Fagding in the morning, along with sweet and melodious sound of the Dud Koshe River, coming down from the mountain reduces the fast breathing of the trekkers to get to Jursali after a few hours of walking. Government office staffs perform the formalities of checking trekkers' permit and Tim's card, essential for the trekkers and mountaineers. After crossing this bridge, we take a stiff climb of two hours to enter into a famous mountain tourist village, Namche Bazaar. Namche is a world-renowned Sherpa village situated at the elevation of 3,440 meters. Tourists can view Mount Kwangde, 6,286 meters to the west, Mount Kumbi Ila, 
5,761 meters to the north, Mount Thamsherku, 6,608 meters. The top of Namche Bazar is a strategic location to see the Mount Everest, Mount Lhotse, that is 8,516 meters, Amadablam, 6,812 meters, and trail to Everest Base Camp and Tiangboche Monastery. Approximately one hour walking up from Namche, we will be encountered to an excellent location for mountain views. From here, trekkers can see Fungi Thanga, Xiangboche Monastery and beautiful brooks and brokerage with scenic mountains. Again about one and a half hour trekking, we can reach to Sanasa. From here, two trekking routes are extended. One way reaches to Gokyo Valley and another way connects to the Khumbu Valley. We choose that goes to Gokyo Lake by leaving the way to Everest Base Camp. Mula Dara is offering its beauty, which is just about two hours walking up from Sanasa. We arrive Dole after two hours walk, where we stay overnight in a guest house. The next day, we can view Mount Chooyo, the sixth tallest mountain in the world, which is at an altitude of 8,201 meters, just after 40 minutes of walk. Our next destination is Macherma village. We will stay for the night here. After four hours walk from here, we arrive at the first lake. Second lake. And third lake of Gokyo. Where we stay overnight in a guest house. This is Gokyo Lake, which is 4,790 meters above the sea level. On the second day at Gokyo Lake, it's important one goes climbing Mount Gokyo-ri, that is 5,360 meters, solely for acclimatization purpose. We feel blessed as the sun rises over the ever-magnificent mountains. From Gokyo-ri, one can see the world's highest peak, Mount Everest, also from this spot, one can see Mount Lhotse, Mount Tolatse, and many other peaks. Then after, we proceed to Chola Pass and stay overnight at Thaknak. We proceed to Everest Base Camp via Chola Pass and on the next day cross the Chola Pass. One has to ascend upward which might be a bit tough. One should proceed slowly to prevent any problems 5,368 meters above the sea level. Chola Pass looks like a paradise on earth as portrayed by the majestic mountains. The high mountains, plenty of snow, oh, how wonderful, all these make the trek so much more exciting. This is Tola Pass. Seen from Tola Pass, Mount Amadablam looks like a pyramid with a beautiful lake in its womb, surrounded with snow-covered peaks and naked hilltops. 
the scenic grandeur is awe-inspiring. After spending one night in Jongla High Camp, we resume our trek the next morning. After four hours, we arrive at Lobuche. Lobuche village is situated at the elevation of 4,900 meters. Those trekkers with tight schedule follow the route of Tiangboche via Periche to Lobuche by avoiding Gokyo route. From Lobuche, while trekking to the Everest base camp and Kalapathar, one can see beautiful Mount Pumori in front and at its bottom Kalapathar, which is the end of this trekking itinerary. And another attraction is the serpentine queues of trekkers. Four hours walking uphill from Lobuche, we arrive at Gorakship, where we enjoy our lunch. The last village of Everest Base Camp trekking route. Gorakship is located at the altitude of 5,140 meters. From this location, trail to Kalapathar and Everest Base Camp are separated. We will be heading to the Everest Base Camp. Everest Base Camp, at an altitude of 5,364 meters, is a world-famous tourist destination where hundreds of thousands of tourists aspire to enjoy mountain views every year. We will be back to Gorakshreb for a night halt. The next morning, we climb up to Kalapathar, Kalapathar is close to Mount Pumori. Kalapathar is at the altitude of 5,545 meters from the sea level and is very famous for Everest trekking. From here, Mount Lola, which is attached to Mount Everest, summit of Mount Everest, and Mount Nupse, which is 7,855 meters, as well as Mount Pumori and Mount Lobuche. The same day, we get back down to Dingboche for a night stop. From Dingboche, one can see Mount Lhotse, Mount Lhotse Sar, and Chukung Valley very clearly. The steam is advancing towards Chukung to climb Island Peak. Spanish climbers are walking in a queue. In about three hours' trek, one can reach to Chukung from Dingboche. Here are some lodges and hotels. Still, some groups are camping too. <laughs> this is base camp of the island peak, which is 4,370 meters high from the sea level. For those without proper training and those who have never climbed any peak, our train guide train them for one to two hours and always help in every aspect to climb this peak. And still we are doing so. With trained and experienced guide, 
This peak is easy to climb. The next day, at around 4 p.m., they have to start ascending the summit. This pyramid-shaped trekking peak, Island Peak, attracts huge number of climbers, mountaineers, every year. This scene is of the surrounding of the peak. Island Peak is 6,189 meters above the sea level. This is the scene of the successful ascent of the Spanish group. They are returning and celebrating and expressing their joy by hugging each other. After some rest, all group members return to Dingboje via Tukung for a night halt. From Dingboje, one has to trek for one hour via Sumare, Pangboje to reach to Tiangboje. It is a beautiful place and is 3,860 meters high from the sea level. And there is one famous monastery too. From here, one can see Mount Kangtenga and Mount Tamsherku in the southern side. To the north lies the world's highest peak, Mount Everest, Mount Lopse and Mount Nupse. One can reach Namche Bazar in about three hours trekking and has to spend one night here. From Namche Bazar, one has to trek back to Lukla via Jorsalli, Fakdhing and Taudi Kharga. Monterosa Treks and Expedition Private Limited organized and managed this Everest Base Camp Trekking and Island Peak Expedition. Please to remember Monterosa Treks and Expedition to climb Mount Everest and other famous peaks for mountain flight. Nepal Tour, Jungle Safari, Tibet Tour, Mount Kailash Tour, Bhutan Tour and many more tour packages. We are always ready to serve you by providing professional human resources, tour guide, climbing guide, cook and other necessary equipments. Guest is God.